Hello my reading friends. Welcome to Reno's Reading Corner where we read stories together. Today we are reading Ready, Set, Frog by Catherine Mitropoulos and Laura Watson. Frogathon Sports Frog for short. Loved living on Harmony Lane. He loved creating new games to play with his neighbors. He loved building obstacle courses and most of all, he loved challenges. Well, would you look at that? Frog's mom said one morning. Harmony Lane is hosting a neighborhood fair next week and there will be an obstacle course. Frog perked up. An obstacle course? Really? I should practice. And before his mother could say another word, Frog went off to do just that. Frog gathered every stone he could find in the backyard. Then, one by one, he piled them into a tall mountain. Soon, Frog was ready to jump. Ready? Set? Frog! Mole's voice startled Frog and he crashed into the rock pile. Stones and pebbles fell all around him. It had taken so long to stack them up. What was he going to do now? Frog turned toward the fence. Is everything okay, Mole? I'm making apple pie and I'm one apple short. Could you please hop to the top of my tree and get an apple for me? Frog really wanted to rebuild the mountain so he could practice. But his friend needed his help. That was more important than a contest, wasn't it? Frog took a deep breath. He focused his eyes to the tallest branch. Then he bent his knees. His feet pushed off and he soared into the air. The wind whipped his face as he glided up, up, up. Even if he wasn't practicing, he did love hopping. Frog hopped this way and that, searching for the perfect apple. Then he saw it, the brightest, plumpest apple on the whole tree. Thank you, Frog. I'll be sure to bring you a slice when the pie is done. The next morning, Frog went back outside to practice. Today is the day, he cheered. First, he balanced sticks between two chairs to create a bridge. Next, he piled stone upon stone to build his rock mountain. Ready, set, frog! Frog lost his balance and tipped into his obstacle. Down went the chair and down went his bridge. Giraffe's long neck craned over the fence. Frog, could you help me put on my hat? It's awfully sunny this morning. Frog's cheeks burned. He had worked so hard on his bridge. And now the sticks were all over the yard. Nothing was going his way. But his friend needed his help. Giraffe's long neck swayed back and forth. Frog balanced as he moved her hat this way and that. Too high! Giraffe complained. Too low. Too high again. The sun is in my eyes. Wait, now I can't see anything. At last, Giraffe was happy. Thanks, Frog. That's just right. On the way home from school, Frog wanted to practice jumping from stone to stone. Ready? Set Frog! Looking around, he spotted Kitten across the pond. Ow, oh, Frog! I was playing on the lily pad and I got stuck over here. Frog still needed to rebuild his obstacle course so he could practice before it got dark. Hopping to the other side of the pond and back would take forever. Frog looked all around to see if anyone else could help. But it was just him. So he hopped from lily pad to lily pad until he reached kitten. That night, 
Frog pushed his food sadly around his plate. Mom, I don't want to enter the contest anymore. I haven't had any time to practice. Frog's mother smiled down at him. How did you help Mole? I jumped into the tree to get an apple. And giraffe? Mom asked. I balanced on a neck to put on a hat and I hopped from lily pad to lily pad to help kitten. You see, you have been practicing all along. Just not the way you planned to. It was kind of you to help your friends. But remember, it's okay to say no sometimes. It takes practice to balance helping yourself and helping others. I'm still working on it too. Frog thought about his day. It felt good to help my friends, but maybe next time I can save some time for my own plans too. At the fair, Frog lined up with his friends. When the whistle blew, he hopped up the stack of logs, across the wobbly bridge of hay and from rock to rock. At bedtime, Frog smiled proudly at his second place trophy. Even though he hadn't won, he was excited for next year. And maybe if he took some time for himself, things would go a little more like he planned. The end. For more stories, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon.